So I'm going to help you understand what's going on musically in this cover by Mr. Jacob Collier of Moon River. Let's check it out. So let's find that note. Okay, an F. So you've got octaves. Okay. Ah, we might be in the world of B flat, so that f uh, F might represent the five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe. Let's keep listening. So, so far we've got Fs and a B flat. C, D, E flat, B flat. So, I, oh, I, I was literally about to say I'll let you know <laughs> when I hear some other notes that are not just doubled. So, so far I'm hearing these, but then at that point I literally heard an A, a major 7 on the B flat. Let's check that out again. Okay, let's get all those uh, at the moment. Oh, I don't even have enough fingers. It's six notes. <laughs> these six right here. Okay. Oh, that's another one. Right, so it's all in relation to B flat. So so far we have these, these seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got an F already. So ultimately, this kind of cluster chord. Okay. So if I was gonna kind of make an educated guess, I'm gonna say we're in B flat, but let's let's establish it. Let's find out as we go. Ooh, do you feel how low that is? You're gonna need headphones to hear that. <laughs> it's a really low B B flat. It's like a beautiful major seven chord outline. Five chord. Beautiful. Yeah, we're definitely in B flat. Okay, so this is the world of B flat, the major scale. All right, so he's um, implying the melody. Okay, I like that kind of lift as well. Like, yeah. It's a chord four. Mm, e flat major. Oh, there's a. Oh, I've heard him use this chord before. So you got a da, da, third inversion. Now Jacob Collier really likes his chords in general, but especially um, uh, the use of inversions. Yeah. So in this case, we've got, and then we've got a essentially a five so an f7 but he's playing it in third inversion so he's taking this e flat and playing it in, and keeping it mutual on the left hand in fact which creates a bit of tension which resolves down to the i think he's going to be playing it is it a minor or is it going to be a first inversion of b flat let's see so we're kind of hearing it as open some kind of open kind of d minor kind of implied so we got this so that chord is so beautiful and then go into the you got like a two five three a, a five 
I'm not even a 2 5, a 5 1 even. 5 1. So we know we're going to this G minor. So for the sake of this example, we're going to represent this as the 1. So you've got the 5, the D in relation to G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because that's our, we know that G is our destination. So you've got a 5 to 1 in the minor key. Beautiful. some kind of a half diminished tritone reharm and then resolve into the like a D7 mm. that was beautiful why did that work Jacob all right let me break down why that works perfectly so we've got let me play that through for you it's right here we'll go from here Check it out. So this is definitely a two five one in a minor key. So going back to G, we know ultimately we're going to be going to this G minor. So we're doing a two because in relation to G, one, two, then three, four, five. And we're going to go to here. Ultimately, I'll just keep it as a dominant to start with. So all right, yeah. So it's back up to that six. Here we go. Check this out. Yeah, so that works perfectly. If we're going to go here, ultimately he's getting to, goes back to inversions again, so he's getting to the first inversion of this D major chord. Because ultimately, ultimately that's what this is. So you've got the first inversion of D major. And he's using to have, um, he's using to, he's using the C, sorry, the, the C major as a bit of transport. So he's going C major first inversion. Then D major first inversion to take us to um, the six or this this one in a minor key. You could think about it. That's beautiful. Dun, dun. Passing chord, passing, and once again using inversions. Jacob really likes using inversions, so that's wonderful. I'm gonna play that through. That, that's really beautiful. So. Yeah. Sus. Oh, was it sus? Oh, minor five. Mm, so the sus. It's all got that kind of feel, but he's choosing to go to the minor five. Mm. So passing. So he's got six, minor five. So I'm kind of, I'm going to choose to do a sharp five, sharp nine on that E to pass down to E flat. Have a listen to that. It's beautiful. Ooh. Passing. Minor five. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like that so once again we've got tritones Oof. so the first one that we heard was this tritone so it's a, tri a tritone is just a, a series of three tones so going from here tritone below so that's one tone below two tones below three tones below it's a nice kind of um you know it breaks up the harmony that's real that's really nice a bit of reharm there but then he's got to say a similar idea have a listen to this. So where are we at? Yeah, yeah, let's go from there. Sus. That chord was something like that. Wow. Yeah. I, I can definitely hear that A in there in relation to the A flat on the bass. So you got some kind of clash there. Yeah. Yeah. 
check this out. Then he's gonna go to a sus to pass. So three turns below. I'm gonna choose to do another sharp five sharp nine. Yeah, so you go. Beautiful. Where does that lead us to? Is he doing a sus? I did a sharp five, sharp nine to be honest. But let's hear how he does it. That nine is definitely in there. And then yeah, it does go to the two. Yeah. Going to the two in relation to B flat. Beautiful. So I have to check that we're in, still in the key of B flat, Jacob. <laughs> uh, the harmony there definitely um, lent itself to a bit of ambiguity in terms of the key centre, to my ear anyway. But the, but the thing is, with all that said and done, the melody, the melody is still clear. Yeah. Whoa! So we got back to this um, third inversion of uh, F7. Whoa! So. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! So rather than going to the D minor, and da di da do da, he's going like da di da do da. Let's, let's catch that. Uh, 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 ultimately, what is that chord? Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Definitely hearing that. Wow, he's going to a minor one. My goodness. <laughs> Something like that. So ultimately, he's ended up here, and that works perfectly because with the melody. Well, that makes sense because he can end up pretty much on any chord that has an F in it. <laughs> and he's chosen to do and on the minor one. Whoa! Let's hear that again. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm kind of, I'm going to treat that like a kind of, he's kind of implying like a five to one in the minor key with that diminished I'm kind of I'm going to kind of lend it yeah I think that kind of lends itself to like an F7 kind of you know yeah and here how it works I bet it will work perfectly granted he's not doing the F though but you can hear it yeah beautiful I'll give you a bit of context on that wow reharm options Yeah, yeah, and that makes sense, perfect sense because before we had um, da -di -da -do -da. so once again that third is representative in this D minor, but he knows that another option could be going to the the, the one, so B flat minor, because that the fifth is there. So yeah, why not do that? It works with the melody. So yeah, Jacob, why why not? Why not? Knock yourself out. Go, go for it. Just go for it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I hear that 
that little motif that I think is quite um yeah reflective of quite a few songs that kind of doom 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 but even before we get to that I want to just hear those beautiful beautiful weaving chords so once again five to one harmony like circles three six or five to one in the minor key we're back to this chord again but rather than doing the got some other options up his sleeve ah how it weaves together what was that Um, even before we get to that though, I hear a beautiful kind of... That kind of... Those kind of... Oh, that's beautiful. So after we have this 7 or the 2 in the relation to this G minor, we've got these beautiful weaving chords. I'm kind of hearing a... So we've got these kind of, once again, it's circle of fifth. So five, I'm going to choose to do a sus. And obviously he's doing some other chords kind of before that. But ultimately, ultimately we're getting to here. And you've got this kind of, you know, implying um, a flat nine on the D7 going to the, that's beautiful. That kind of feel, let me play along. That was a bit more like a, so he actually kind of gets a, and then a kind of, that kind of thing. So he actually gets to the seven. That kind of, that kind of feel, that's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, and I'm kind of thinking about that, like a, how am I thinking about that? Yeah, just the, yeah, well, you can see the movement, yeah. Moving chromatically, creating that going from that um, sus, which is kind of like a warm feel, and then getting that, that tension, that crunch, to then take us to the six. And that's a good option to be able to do, to be honest, in it, going to any minor man, uh, minor chord. You know, if I go to D minor, just use a fifth of that. One, two, three, four, five. Play, play the fifth. And just do that same move. Beautiful, beautiful, Jacob. <laughs> See if I can play along. Yeah. <laughs> oh, major seven. I had that on the five chords before we had a minor. Oof. The options are endless. That's all just going. That's, that's the bass notes right there. Ugh. Down a semitone. Yeah. Ooh, second inversion of the one. Uh, first inversion of the four. Oh, those are beautiful chords. Kept it simple, well, kind of kept it simple. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They had a kind of <laughs> so much here, right there. Five to one. That was beautiful. Oh, oh, 
and in the two i've heard it um reference as this being a i think the i forgot is it like this the the chord source or something like that where he's got this idea where he just adds the two and it just adds just that bit of extra spice but it's not too much it's just that extra bit of sauce <laughs> something like that i've heard it um, referred to in terms of jacob's add to approach to chords yeah the secret source maybe <laughs> yeah you can play it with any major chord adding this to second note Two chords, E flat, sharp eleven, B flat major seven. Yeah. You better put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Here we go. And I can see he's um yeah, got a bit of sheet music there. Mm. Ah Jacob, so we begin. Hmm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And the, the precursor to, to all that, interesting enough, is just two chords. Sharp 11 to B flat. Let me play that um, for you. So, yeah. B flat. The secret source added to there. And then. Yeah, it's so subtle, but that sharp 11 is there. Yeah. Yeah. C sharp, yeah, all right. D flat or C sharp, hey, all right, all right. Yeah. All right, we're going somewhere else here. So, uh, those kind of throwaway licks with the vocals. So it's like all kind of like pentatonic stuff. So ultimately we're in this world now. D flat, all right. I'm crossing you in style. Oh, 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 oh. Someday. Oh. Once again, we've got those passing chords. Um, da, 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 which we had before in um, the key of B flat. Da, 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 that I showed you before. Same idea. So, um, let's back up. Uh, uh, so, pentatonic stuff. Sure. You in style. Someday. Yeah. Da, 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 major. Oh, yeah, so, um, ultimately, he's going to B flat. So he's got this kind of approach. Uh, the first inversion of the two, which is E flat major, and then walking up to the first inversion of the three, which is the major. Yeah, or the five in the minor key. Five, one in the minor key, if you want to look at it like that. Ugh. I, like those, I do like those sprinkles, though. The, you know, those chord sprinkles, as I like to call it. Someday. You better sing. Someday. 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 I like that. Oh. Yeah, we had those parts called. Da, da, da. Sure. Oh, dream. Maker. You have. Wow. 
I can definitely <laughs> hear circular fifths. Let's 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 pause on that. Right. So kind of thirteen on the B. Wow. Okay. Let's back up. <laughs> Jacob. Oh. Okay. Ugh. So we have some kind of chord. I'm just gonna play it as a thirteen. I can, I can definitely hear this the sixth um, in there, and, and ultimately it's going to be some kind of minor chord. So B flat sus, we'll go for that. So we're here. It's Thirteen implied on the B. Check this out. Though. So we've got these kind of. Excuse me. Go with, go with. Yeah, so ba, ba, ba. Go with. Just basic chords. Go with you. Once again. Dun, dun. All right, so why does that work? So we're in go in. Boom, ba, 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 ba. So this is the five of where we're going next, we're going, which is C. Let me actually play the bass line for you so you can actually see it clearly and then I'll break it down. It's about to change. So, circle of fifth. So this is the five of the C. One, two, three, four, five. So that, that's where that G came from. And then the C represents the five of the F. One, two, three, four, five. And then the F represents the five of the B flat. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So you've got these kind of pulling chords. For that section where um, he sings wherever you're going. Oh, right now he's going to the world of circular fifths. Uh, so I'm just going to imply some chords. Yeah. Uh, okay, he had a five to take us to the E. So a five, um, a B sus to take us to the one of E. to D, all right, so we kind of had a transition, we definitely went there, yeah, that was that, okay, oh, you better sing, we're definitely in the key of D now, wow, I like that so much, out of D flat transporting us no pentatonic once again pentatonic okay cool <laughs> Whoa! How can you do the la la la's after all of that? Whoa! Fa la 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 la. Ha 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 ha, Jacob. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Okay, just checking out we're still in D, Jacob. Alright, we're done. Well, guys, that's the video. Thank you. <laughs> what? And my headphones has um yes collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> wow there's so much happening here so much the master himself jacob oh, okay i'm just gonna have to just embrace this 
Let's back up a little bit. There's such a lot of world to okay. see. I want to start such a lot of I'll just say this, the approach in terms of the chord sprinkling is a beautiful idea. Like, it doesn't really matter what you do. <laughs> Within reason. In terms of drawing attention to, you know, whichever um, chord extension you want. Um, and you do kind of have to do this with chord extensions as opposed to just like say triads. Um, but it sounds beautiful, wonderful idea. Let's continue. <laughs> He said sing. <laughs> sing. I think it's the one that's on the far left. Yeah, with the green and he's and Jacob's wearing um a red and black top. <laughs> I think. Yeah, sing, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's going to be the five or wherever we're going to. Mm -hmm. To A, maybe. How do you play that five chord? Oh, for second version. Simple second inversion of A. I'm going to E flat. <laughs> And that right about now, we're kind of in between keys here, right? So, we're between D and E flat. I got you, Jacob. I got you. So, you can hear ultimately that's too high, that's too low. So, we're literally right in the middle. <laughs> So I'm just going to rate it to E flat for a second. Uh, um, passing. And then. I like that right there, Jacob. We had a. Um, so ultimately, we ended up just in relation to this re as a reference. We're going to go to that C. But then you had a kind of. That kind of thing. Like a diminished. So ultimately, we're here. So we're in the world of E flat. So da, da, ba, ba, da, da, passing to here, and then you went second, uh, first inversion of the six. I like that. But obviously, disclaimer: he's between the two keys of E flat and D. So yeah, Jacob, thanks for that. <laughs> Context. was ridiculous that has to be kind of like a it's 
some kind of uh, like force. That's what's coming to my mind. It's probably bigger than that. Wow. Clearly it's a stack. That stack was ridiculous. <laughs> Just nasty. Dramatic. <laughs> man, this is out of control, man. Definitely kind of in between, yeah, he's a bit lower than that E, so I'm hearing, but ultimately, we're in E now, so upper half step. That's a lot of seeing. Word painting, though. That is definitely word painting. Yeah, yeah. What? You did what? <laughs> oh, Jacob. Right when I was about to lay my head to rest i was awoken by that thump <laughs> yeah yeah we're kind of still in this e down a few cents world that you got like, oh, no that's me true yeah, that's beautiful so after like with all that said and done there's that one note that is just consistent all through it sounds like it actually goes up a half step at some point or maybe a few cents I don't, I don't quite know what Jacob is doing over there in terms of um the tuning but anyway <laughs> Let the master work. Let him work. <laughs> right here. Consistent. definitely sound like it lifted yeah I think that note that he's pedaling probably went up a little bit maybe yeah that's definitely moving I can hear that of course ONG okay so hold on Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can actually look at that actually. So So at this point that first initial note is definitely between these two notes of B flat and B. But, but it's gonna be pitch shifted up a bit. Right 
right about here, you can hear it just, it just gets a bit brighter. E. Yeah. So uh, let's just maybe we, we can kind of transition to see what some of those chords are. version of E, A flat, A, A even so, inversion of A, sus, yeah. Okay, so let's actually play through those, because that, that's actually very accessible. <laughs> Oof, beautiful. So about there, so kind of go from there. Sus on the F sharp. First inversion of E. A. Second inversion of E. First inversion of A. Sus on the D. To take us to the key of G. Yeah. Flat seven. Maybe um, think about it like um, like a G over F. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. That I can already hear that. That is not one of the, um, the notes that I have on my keyboard. I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear it's like, <laughs> it's like between the, the B and the C. <laughs> so, just to finish. So he's somewhere between B and C, ultimately, ultimately on chord one. There you have it. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed the ride and if you found this video helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.